gaming we are going to create a new character I'm gonna go ahead and get the stream going how's everyone's mood today <clears throat> hope you guys are feeling great go ahead. I'm gonna send this to everybody who is uh, on the discord the you know, awesomeness that is everyone else okay let's get you here oh how i love to try necromancer but i just love barbarian because we're both barbarians hmm <clears throat> go ahead and put this on going live all right you guys have seen how i played this last time now we're back on it buff kit So this is Buff Cat. Okay. Game creation. Uh huh. Let's do it. <clears throat> Back on this. Good day. Not here. Not in town. No oh, greeting, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your car. Chart. Not in town. Not here. Not in town. Zombies. Ooh, look at that cool rat. Come on! So good to see this guy. Still new stat. That's fine. Yep. Oh. MS goes. How's it going, Lady J100? I'm back on my Diablo. Let's 
So I'm playing as a buff barbarian. I am just calling it the buff cat barbarian for short, I guess. But as you guys know, that's my favorite class because whirlwind barbarians are amazing. They're super OP in the original Diablo 2. First things first, work on his strength and his vitality and then kind of go from there. I died, like, in battery, so I gotta, like, let it sit and, like, gain more of its battery life back. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. A oh, strange curse. citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demons and Ariel. I still can't believe it. But she turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the Sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I am wilderness, you stranger. See. Please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse, and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. There is a place of great evil in the wilderness. Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me that a cave nearby is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond the grave. A cave, you say, so let's go kill everything. I here. fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. If you are sincere about helping us, find the dark labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. May the great eye watch over you. Oh man, does this bring back memories, guys? Trade. Hmm. What should we get? Hmm. Do I have anything? Oh yeah, quest log. Look for the den in the wilderness instead of looking. Freaking out on the butt. Resurrected the things I killed, not a chance on that watch. in the cave. 
So, guys in the chat, how many of you have actually played Diablo 2? Diablo 3 was fun. I played it with my brother from time to time. Well, for those of you that remember 2 for what it was, are you excited for this resurrected? Especially with Diablo 4 being on the brink of being made, how do you guys feel? this buff barbarian I get it trust me it's an old game we've all seen this gameplay like over the years but nothing beats just having a fun Childhood.
Vamos. are safe for the moment. Hey, how's it going, Professor Doc? Even though the corrupted ones were once of our order. Not in town. Good evening. I haven't played Diablo 2 since like the demo came out for it, and now I'm on. I'm telling you, it is too fun. You should try it out again, Professor Doc, if you ever get a chance. Yeah, I saw the Nintendo Direct, that thing was crazy. What'd you think about it? What were you, you most excited about for, uh... Welcome, Outlander, to our glorious hovel. I know you're I would say it was overall good, too. Dude, the new Kirby game home. had me crazy, but no Bayonetta this. 3, dude. Akara Bayonetta 3 is the shit. Leader, but I command the rogues in battle. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. My rogue scouts have just reported an abomination in the monastery graveyard. Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Bloodraven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo at Tristram, was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andariel. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, raising our Maybe dead. Maybe trying to get a hold of Professor Doc here. We cannot abide Professor, how's it going? Hey, you what's up? How you doing? You Just playing some Diablo 2, thought her. I'd hit you up. Hey, all right, what's going on? Hey, how's everyone doing in the stream? Everyone good? I hope we're going to be on the stream. I'm uh, on that Diablo 2, so I have to look for Blood Raven. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, jeez, man. I have not played Diablo 2 forever. Oh, yeah, no. Oh. Uh, it, it's a classic. It really is. When I saw that it was available, I already had it pre ordered. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go right now. You know? Uh, yeah, I mean, shit. I, I know that I'm going to probably eventually get it. I, I'm, like, in a. I'm in between a few games right now, so I'm kind of like holding off on it. So I didn't want to pick it up just yet. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's crazy old school. Like, I was hoping my previous character that I worked on when I was playing the pre-order, like beta test, it would stay, but I guess it didn't. Oh, that sucks. I know. I had them all the way too. I was so happy. Well, I mean, like. <laughs> Honestly, for me, when I when I played these games, it's like I always liked like starting off a character. Anyway, that was kind of my favorite part. To be like, all right, let's 
Let's try the barbarian for a bit. All right, let's try the wizard for a bit. Oh, necromancer all the way, dude. <laughs> oh, necromancer, yeah. I'll probably just uh, annoy me. I'll probably stick with the necromancer again. Yeah. Um, that was your like first one, wasn't it? Like when you were first playing your first class. Or... Uh, yeah. I think so. I think I, I mean, like I said, I kind of at least leveled up everyone a little bit just to kind of uh, try it out. But uh, I think I ended up sticking with the Necromancer through the rest of the game, and at least up until uh, um, the DLC. Right, the DLC. Oh, yeah. The expansion. Yeah. <laughs> they come with the expansion too. That's the crazy. Yeah. Thing. I love it. Like I, I am, I'm, I'm still from a generation that technically had expansions to games, not just DLC. Let's see. How do I close this? Uh, chat uh, like, do you have a global chat going? Apparently, how do I turn off the global chat? Uh, I think, I think you're you're in the friends list. I think if you trade down, is there like a local game or? Well, it says right here. I mean, I could do that. I think you can. Let me try to save an exit. Save an exit, and I'll see if I can do that. Because that I mean, chat keeps popping up. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But I, it looks great, like the way they have it. Okay, so. Hello. Hey, Lady J's back. Hey, Lady J. How's it going? Okay, let's see. I think, yeah, there has to be like a can you, like, turn off chat for a thing? Oh, it says online and then offline. I guess play offline? Can you play offline? Yeah, I, I can mean, play you offline. Can... Does I it make you have to make you? Hmm? Does it make you have to recreate the character? Yeah, apparently. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean that. This is right here. My online character. Can I just? I can't transfer him. I mean, let me Google this right now. This is a good question because I actually I don't mind starting over. I only made it level four. That's real real easy. But let's see. Uh, Diablo two. Resurrected. Resurrected. Transfer online character to offline. Or, or just like look for turning off chat. I mean, you can still play your online yeah. file and not have to necessarily play. That's true. Uh, yeah. That's true. I need I need to like get a new chair. <laughs> I've told myself that I was supposed to get a chair, but I had to do it. I'm gonna have to do it this weekend because my my current chair is was fine, but like I need like a new kish, like cushion thing just because like I'm sitting I, I sit all day for work, so it's not good on the hips. Oh, I know exactly how you feel. You what type of chair are you looking at? I don't know. I, um, Natalie got one recently that uh, I tried on the like for today, and I didn't really have the I didn't have the usual like lower back pain as I used to for my current chair. So I'll probably end up getting getting hers. It's a, it's like you know, it's like a kind of your typical gamer chair, gaming chair, and race car things. Since the recent exactly. troubles began. Yeah. No doubt uh, to answer your question, Lady J, this game is incredibly easy. Some say the it has the maybe a couple challenging fights here and there, again. but not so much. I mean, what are, what are your thoughts on this doc? I don't think it's that difficult. I mean, if you're going to go through the game the first time around, you can, you can play through it without a problem. You know, just... You don't even have to necessarily grind. You basically go through the go through the places you need to go anyway, and you're gonna level up like properly. So. Yeah, that's true. I'm trying to think the best uh, the, the best like uh, build for Necromancer. I mean, are we gonna like to is still recommend old school like putting everything into like, the same mastery? I don't know. I I, I forgot how I did. I, I'm pretty sure it was like on the stairs. You talk to Akara too. She seems to be the leader of this I forgot. Camp. I forgot what like Maybe she can tell you, you need to do to like when you raise your um, your minions. Like if that works off of decks, might have. See, all right, good. The chat disappears. Um, let's see. I can't do that here. Oh, it's so nice to see this again. I am Akara. You remember Akara's voice actor? 
I want uh, you traveling yeah, to our to camp. Well, but I'm afraid I, I no, I don't remember. It's been forever. Poor shelter within these rickety yeah. walls. It's been forever, but it's still a fun see, game, no matter what. Oh man, do I want to go with uh, Lone Mancer, Summon Mancer, Nova Mancer, Mighty Summon Citadel, like, Necromancer? Which we have the gates to the east I forgot how customized it was because back in the day, you couldn't even really find anything on the internet. It was just like straight up from what you found on like guidebooks or even magazines. Remember? More or less, yeah. I think that was sort of the. Uh, uh, I would say like the the, the good and the bad for, for how things work. I don't. I, I mean nowadays I, I'm I usually end up looking up stuff which I know back in the day I wouldn't have. Like I'm playing so I'm playing uh, Super Mario RPG like on the side now, and I've been like going through it. And then I think it was. I think I was listening to someone's playthrough that says there is an optimized way to get the bonuses every time you level. You know, they always give you like, hey, pick a bonus. Do you want to do and get like a bonus, like extra, extra, extra buff to your attack, your magic abilities, or your HP? And for me, I remember playing it as a kid, only doing the HP every time because I just wanted to have my character have like 300 health. Oh my gosh! Yes, I remember. Um, but when I when I think I was listening to a sh like a like a video or something like that, someone was playing um, Mario RPG, and they mentioned like, oh yeah, okay, but depending on the level, you actually can you get a more optimized uh, boost if you pick certain uh, certain bonuses at, at certain levels. And I'm like, what the fuck? I never knew this. Yeah. Right. No, it's, it's shit like that where I'm like, oh my god, how am I gonna... How, how did I not know that? I probably would be... So I was like, you know what? Okay, let me look this stuff up. So I, I'm playing my Super Mario RPG with the like the op optimized way. And I realize, oh my god, I'm have, I'm, I am playing through this so much more easier. And I feel upset at myself. Who oppose me. <laughs> well, not Beware. upset myself, but like... The hell, I could have... I didn't know I could do this the whole time. So, you know, and this is like when I had no resources. I mean, I was just like, fuck that. I was just like, it's just me and a Nintendo Power. That's all I got with me. That's oh, the least. Well, I remember that Nintendo Power magazine back in the day. Yeah, I still have I still have a few. No way. And Carnage, yeah. how's it going? I see you're lurking. Yeah, I think I, I had a... I had them in my trunk, in the trunk of my car. I had like those, a couple of Game Informers, and... A couple of game pros. I, I still have. I, I, I don't know. Like as a as a kid, I always thought like, let me keep these. I'm very much a hoarding mentality in my younger days. Um, it's still well to some degree, but not like crazy. But it's usually those magazines, and those magazines are actually kind of like. I don't want to say they're. I mean, they're not like in a good condition anyway. They're they're very red. Oh, some yeah. of them have like pages torn and stuff like that. Where like I would. I think I remember tearing off pages to like put into my like um, Christmas list. Oh, I remember those days. Yeah, so I remember when yeah. they they used to give away like a bunch of secrets to games. They have like a whole section dedicated to like cheat codes. And yeah, I'd I'd have that like ripped out if I really needed it, but I usually end up just keeping it in the magazine. So it's probably a bunch of like really shitty, tasty uh, tasting ads like in there now. I haven't looked, I haven't looked at it yet, but in a while. But uh, I have them there, it's like on, like in my coffee table. I'm like under my coffee. It's like my coffee table. Oh yeah. So, so I think, I think it's shoot. I think it was the ones I have are like. N64 era, more or less. Oh, very good. Okay. Speaking of which, did you see that you can pre-order the controller? For them? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I think I, I joked about it where it's like, I, I'm not going to get that thing unless I have like a cable that I could wrap around the all of the little edges or whatever in between. Like, go one a couple to the left, a couple to the right, now crisscross whenever you <laughs> used to wrap up controllers um, back then. Uh, because that's all Bluetooth, so... And also, I would be, like... I don't know, I feel like something like that... I would... I would be weird to use it. 
if you know what I mean. Like, I think it's just like, I don't want to break it. It's like, it's it's nice. It looks pristine. I want to keep it there. But then again, it's like, this is like a babillion, uh, you know, 8-bit uh, dough, like, uh, controllers nowadays that are all Bluetooth um, enabled and all that shit that can probably work on the Switch anyway. And that you could play and whatever. So. But hey, you know, that's... That's a. Uh, I don't know. Oh, here we go, Necromancer stats. I got my first skeleton summoned here. Nice. Yeah, that's the old school stuff I remember seeing you do. You remember like, towards the end of the game when you had hordes of them just like strumming for you? Oh, yeah, adds like them, the, your clay golem, like, a couple poison ones. Uh, how else I. Yeah, I just, I forgot how I spec my guy. It's been forever. Yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna go with a summon man too this time around. Because I never messed with Necromancer too much except for the other one. So oh. I, I didn't get a chance to I didn't get the DLC for Diablo 3. So I never got a chance to play No, I never got a chance to play with the, the Necromancer in that in that game. Though I, I, I would assume that it's probably pretty similar to 2. Probably, probably similar to 2. Because like I tried it a little bit and I felt that it was a lot more, you get a lot, a lot more like capability of higher staff and summons. Like from the rip, you're able to summon more than you were oh. in here. Like specifically, like out the gate, I think it was like two or three summons you get compared to the usual. Okay, but it's still fun. Uh, Lady J's never actually tried a Diablo game. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think I remember we talked about it last time. I, I think I mentioned like probably three is a good start. It is. It is good. It's a great game. I mean, like, you can, you can op open up your stats window. I think that's something that probably could tell me, like, hey, here's what you're gonna have to deal with with two. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's unfortunately a little micromanagey, which, if you wanted to be a little more streamlined, I would say just go with three. Yeah. I mean, you could literally solo this game with Necromancer and not even die. Yeah. I think that's why I think that's I think that's probably why I, I played as him because I, I think I wanted place. to go through it pretty I was I mean well, I went through it pretty much alone despite me having like maybe maybe one or two friends that I that I had a chance to play with online but that was fear and far between. Yeah, when I'm online I play as uh, I think I'm going to find new stats. I'm gonna put everything just right in the beginning and then I'll move my way back into hell. I know how fit. I know they're very squishy for necromancers. So, yeah. But once you increase the strength, it's a good gear. I mean, we have, like it's it's meant for you to like. Depending on how you spec it, like, obviously, if you if you are going to be focusing on just uh, mobs, then yeah, probably. So, like it's gonna, you're gonna end up being a little bit more uh, squishier than you should be. Yeah. I mean, right now I, I just got the ability to summon three skeletons at once, so corpses, why not? Yay. So that's not so bad. I will go down saying that, like, if it wasn't for the years growing up where you were babysitting me and like showing video games to me, I would not be playing this right now. <laughs> I would literally be just like, what's the opposite? It's my fault that you're streaming right now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> for Diablo at least. But it's you and you and Mittens. That was, <laughs> yeah. was better. The grandfather of our streams. Uh, but there are some good things that I remember from the Diablo franchise. Like I distinctly remember like the cutscenes and the story being just so perfect. And to see it resurrected, literally, just not, no pun intended. It's yep. surprising. Yeah, I think I think it's kind of cool that they decided to just re-release this game. I mean, obviously update it and what have you. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, it's 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 it was still a good game back then, and it's still a good game probably now. To some yeah. degree, it, it I even have I have the original still at home. Oh yeah, I I mean I technically it I mean it's on my. Uh, Blizzard account, so it, I mean it's already tied. It, my, my my key is tied to my Blizzard account, so technically I can just install the old game if I wanted to. Oh yeah, same here. 
I have the original to the account as well. And then I saw that this was being done, and I was like, no way. And what's really helpful is the auto loot. You, you wouldn't think it's something important, but man. Oh, it's cool. yes. I think that was like one of the main things that uh, got me excited for 3 when it came out, where it was like, here's a lot of like, little things that make make your job easier just by like hey let me pick up my stuff quicker I mean I don't have to click on every single thing and actually let me look let me see if I can actually open up uh, if you decide one. to get on I will get on my barbarian right now and we will freaking play I, I play. can't play <laughs> I can't play right now but I, I'm actually I was just more curious about like uh, I, I will not deny you that oh, Is that enough to earn the rogue's trust? Let's see if this works. Oh, I was right. No, oh, I was uh, remembering my uh, my password to my battle net, and that's my confirmation. No. It's really not bad price. I think it was like 40 bucks and it comes with like the, the expansion and everything. Oh, okay. Which is why I was, I was more gung-ho for it than anything else. Because for that price range, I was like, that's not a bad deal. And I pre-ordered the day it came out, like, the loose for it. I was super stoked. I drove poor, like, everybody in the household. <laughs> I was like, nope, I'm going to play this again. The good thing is that, like, uh, majority of this game is pretty uh, solo mission. You don't really go too crazy on so really feeling like that's what you want to do. Mm. The good part is the multiplayer, that's for sure. But can't stand is that you have to choose either play online or play offline, which is a little bit more of a Three installed this entire time. I don't remember it even installing it. Oh my god! This is what happens when I when I don't look at my stuff. Okay, Starcraft here. Actually, now I think about it, well, there's a oh. Huh. I don't see my. Old Diablo 2 on here anymore. What? Nah, you probably have it somewhere on there. Huh. It's not listed on here, I should say. You have cleansed the den of evil. You've earned my trust. And may yet restore my faith in humanity. I mean, I now have the discs the somewhere. training in the skill of your choice. So, oh, yeah, the discs are way back in the day. Yeah. Four skeletons raised. Oh, just can't wait to get Clay Golem. You remember that? Yeah, that was good. Revive was good. Fire Golem. Oh, man. I remember when I first saw Fire Golem, and I was just like freaking out. I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Right, um, this is like. Throwing it back. I can't do that here. Oh, let me like sell some of The order thing. welcomes you. Trade. Um, I'm trying to pick this up. I'm gonna go get some gear on this one. So I have to go and talk to you.
Hi there. I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. It's good to see some strong adventurers around here. Many of our sisters fought bravely against Diablo when he first attacked the town of Tristram. They came back oh, to us true veterans, for a little bearing bit to play some with really you. powerful items. I think that's what happened. Seems like well, the victory was short. No, when I, I, I guess I was looking, I didn't remember I had Diablo 3 installed on I didn't remember getting it installed on here. But I think I remember now that I think I was playing with you or something. And, uh... I don't know. It's pretty small. I don't remember it being that small. So I just ran out of space. Faster block rates. I'm going to collect a lot more stuff. Ugh, old armors and stuffs. It had a lot of good gear too in my old one. Yeah, see now it's come back to you. You're just like, yeah. Upsetting. Now, once it disappears, you're like, oh, damn it, I put so many hours into this game. Welcome, Outlander, to our glorious hovel. I know you're here. My rogue scouts have just reported an abomination in the monastery graveyard. Oh, man. Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Blood what about Cain? One of our finest I forgot Cain is like the third Diablo or fourth mission. So like that, also right? one of the first to Erker be Kain, Yeah, I think he's around there. Now yeah. you'll find her in the monastery graveyard. He's not, yeah, he's like a little bit in. Zombies. And then you get the... Uh, you cannot abide this defilement. Is he the reason you, you can teleport? Yeah. Yeah, you can teleport, but her. only after you find the, the little marker to do it. Right, yeah. So now the quest log is upgraded. Now we're on uh, Sister's Burial Grounds. Let's see. Uh, up here. Inventory. My energy, I don't even worry about too much. It's vitality I don't worry about. And a little bit of strength so I can get some good gear. So when working on a necromancer, it's basically just piling up your health. You know? Yeah. So that way you can just last longer because they are so <laughs> incredibly squishy. But the strength is just to carry good gear, but to be honest, they don't carry anything crazy. I mean, I think that's, yeah, I think the necromancers usually have, like, light or gear. Anyway. How the skeletons are just five feet away, just kind of like sitting back and like chilling. Oh, yeah. I, oh, I forget, what's the max skeletons you have? Uh, hold on one sec. That's like an old school Hades though, like uh, Lady J. If you ever decide this was something you'd want to play, I would totally get you on here real quick. And all you do is just adventure with me and destroy Diablo. God, I, I tried that deck with King Force right now. <laughs> destroy Diablo. Yeah. It's like a, it's like you have to kind of do Sean Connery without sounding Scottish. Exactly. It's it's, yeah. it's an old school fun game. Like you, you can't can't go wrong with it. Can't go. Can't go missing on any of the characters really because majority of the time when we're playing this game, you just end up laughing at the character voice acting because it wasn't so great back in the day. So skeletons are your minions? Yeah, yeah I resurrected the dead with um, necromancy. So you use the corpse. Use the corpses of your enemies to make skeletons. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Which is funny because sometimes you kill like 
random little beasts and they suddenly they just look like regular human skeletons, so it's... Yeah, it's always been that way since I remember. It's like, kind of goofy. Necromancer is just one of those funny ones where you're just like, oh, I guess this is what we're doing. I think, I mean, there's different character types. You can play a wizard guy, you can play a... Uh, like a druid who can turn into a werewolf? I think that was his yeah, I gimmick. Remember, I remember the, the druid class. It's still there. Paladin. Paladin is really fun. You remember that class? I didn't. I didn't play a lot with Paladin actually. Really? I, I went crazy over Paladin. I like that I chose the stab so I could just run around and just stab and shit. Because yeah. I was like, eh. Take care. The yeah, corrupted kind of roads right. are not to be trifled There's like a, a, a sale going on for the wizard right now, and it's mm. like 30% off. I'm not gonna lie. Part of me is like tempted. I'm like, oh, I could order like, you know, a t shirt or something. Oh, okay. oh from their store. Yeah. God. I know they got sales all the time going on. Oh. oh. There we go. So do you also do the thing where you're basically only looking at the map outline and not actually what's on the screen? No, most of the time I actually play without the map. I keep the map on so I can see it. I I think that's how I play it, where I, I'm kind of looking at the my uh, my icon there in the middle so I can see where I'm actually going. But most of the time, I'm afraid I think I can I mean, I'm paying attention to what's happening on screen, obviously, but I think that's how I used to do it. Oh, there's a shaman. Freaking, that's why I can kill him. Shit. Not enough mana. Where are you, shit? Oh, yeah, I think he's. There he is. Get his, uh, get his ass. Their skeletons are pretty I, tanky. Yeah, they're they're holding on. I don't remember them being as tanky. I remember them being very weak back in the day. So this has got me very surprised. Talk about messed up, though. So I just killed you. Now your bones ser so serve me. Yeah, that's how it is. Oh, I only have two. Let's put the third one up. Yeah, it, it's got some messed up stuff throughout the game. Yeah, because this is such an old game, I remember almost every location of every item I need. Oh, no you don't, Shaman! Yeah, Shamans are annoying as hell to me. Oh, there goes the Stark. Oh, there's a whole tribe of these ones. Get him, get him, skeletons! Get him, come on! Jeez, jeez, but beating the like, Amazonian creatures. Let's uh, go on my inventory, I should have a game. Unidentified? Oh, okay, let's see. Topaz, and I, don't know if I, need I forget that my minions kill everything while I'm on the off side of the stream. Oh no, you don't, Shaman. You know what's really interesting about Nintendo Direct is that they announced an N64 games. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh okay. I, I, I think I um, I don't know. I had hoped that it was gonna be the. Um, the, the Game Boy stuff. I thought so too, especially with the announcement today of Castlevania, like the dance collection. Yeah. No, I mean, not even just the dance, but like, you know, I thought they were gonna, like, kind of try to just put in their old, like, older, like, Game Boy, Game Boy Color stuff or something like that. Oh, yeah, that would be. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Just like, hey, here's a lot of games in this old library that kind of just sitting there. 
you just add that to the to the list of stuff you could possibly play. And uh, it's a good library too. I mean, you're not gonna get a lot of like um, old license games, sure, but still, it like it, like Nintendo's um, thing alone is probably enough to be like, yeah, they have, they have a decent library. They'll be fine. Um, uh, the... Yeah, the demo has like a lot of games that can be destroyed. I think so. They're still standing strong. Wait till the golem comes into play, then they're real tough. Really yeah, I mean... Like, like, it's a... Uh, hold on one sec. Squishy character with high attack. Out Remember exploding skeletons? Yes. That was probably the worst. It's like when I like I love them, but like it was just like every time I would be dying, you just hear explosion, explosion, explosion. So how is Iggy? How is how is life in there? How's everything? Yeah, everyone's up, everything's good. Iggy's fine. He's asleep in his little donut bed. Anymore. Um, it's the best we can do right now. So. Oh, did you hear Alexandra finally announced she's pregnant? Yeah, it, freaking. Mittens called me in like the middle of her stream while I was at work to be like, hey, did you know Alex is pregnant? And I'm like, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the uh, unexpected surprise for everybody. Yeah, I think my, my dad texted me to be like, uh, like it was the corniest way my dad could possibly show it. Oh, oh, yeah, of course you were. But like, uh, yeah, so, so okay, cool. Good for her. Oh, yeah. Forever, that's what we said together. Yeah, we're, we're all excited, we're all happy. It was just a very unique thing because we were all like, What? <laughs> we I, mean, I mean, it's weird because it's like, Oh shit, all the cousins are getting, getting kids now. This is getting weird now. Let's see. Ugh. Oh, some of my items are like, tarnished. Oh, yeah, here. Put in some, put in a, is, I don't know, a cap or something? I'll put a cap on in a second, but I'm trying to make my canvas to uh, pick up all the health potions on the way. And now I'm coming close to, uh, one of these should be an XP. No, I think it's this one. No, it's just a flat one. This game had its uh, fair shock for uh, exploration. Like, I felt like this prepared me for most backtracking in most games. You know? Yeah, I mean, especially because you have to, like, go in case you, like, completely miss on a thing and you have to, like, alright, where was I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> go over here. I like the way that they revamped the cutscenes. Though. They, they look great. Oh, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, I would hope so. I mean, Blizzard has has always been like, always had like exceptional looking cutscenes and stuff. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, uh, nowadays obviously it makes sense given that like now they're finally doing like animated stuff. I guess. I guess that way, have they done that? I'm not, I'm thinking of Riot. I think Riot's doing some stuff now. 
think I saw like a like a poster or something for like a uh, Netflix movie or show or something for one of the characters from from uh, League of Legends. Oh yeah, I heard that there was a cartoon going on. Yeah, that that too. There's another. Yeah, there's also like another thing that's also going to be the main or something. Like that. So yeah, you know. Yeah, there's so much going on. Man. It's just crazy. Lady J, what do you think about like my corpses? They, they're a pretty good army of minions. I feel like Skeletor. I'm just like wanting to live like sarcastic remarks and run off menacingly to a cave. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh my god, you did that so perfect! Yeah, it's, it's hard to do that voice. It is so incredibly hard. That's why I was like, you just nailed that! How did you do that? Oh, I don't a... know. It's hard to do. Yeah, because I remember yeah. that like voice distinctively. And I was like, man, there's no way I can ever nail that laughter. And you just you did it on the spot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, um, speaking of like old school shows, I have been seeing a lot of people trying to pick up the Transformers collection that you have. That has actually got up in price. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Getting that collection is about 80 to 90 bucks now. All right. Yeah, it threw me off when I first saw it. I was like, oh, man. Too many empty graves. Oh, I mean, now, I would say, like, now, I mean, what's funny is that uh, all that, uh, the entire shit, like, <laughs> Most of, most if not the entire show is now on YouTube. Like yeah, it's on, yeah. it's on like the Hasbro Plus or something. Whatever, if it, it's there, like it's an official YouTube channel. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm no surprised. My army will destroy you. Oh, I'm about to die. I'm like letting my minions do all the work on sitting back here. I'm like just kill everything. I mean that's that's the goal, right? Yeah. I need mana. All my skeletons are just killing other skeletons. This is skeleton on skeleton brutality! Ah, oh, they're tanking. They haven't gone down yet. Oh, that'll be good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lady J. Lady Minion is a good minion. Ha <laughs> ha, Lady J. Uh, I'm gonna get a sippy sip as soon as I get a chance. Skeleton on skeleton. Not enough mana. Oh, she's running. Blood Raven is running like crazy. Carter just went with a sippy sip. Oh, he is redeeming sippy sips. We have like a ton of them. Oh my god, dude. She's so hard to kill right now. I need to get some water. I need mana. Oh, she's shooting from afar. It's so cheap. It's a chug now, that's right, it is a chug, it ain't even a sippy sip. Yeah, at least that's penny. Oh man, I'm running out of my mama. I can't carry anymore. Oh, my skeletons have all died. Oh no, that's a problem. Let's see, is there... Here of some sort. Damn, I gotta replenish mana. 
Isn't that the pits as Necromancer when you run out of mana? <sighs> On the meta class, the end's got a slight buff. Nice! What buff did they get there, Carnage? Talk about terrible timing when you're running out of items. And I gotta repair my stuff. Good day. Range increase in the station thing and if you wow nice. Give me one sec, but dude. Need mana. My army will destroy. Oh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> I 
because on Diablo, guys, you gotta know that this type of game is made to be played for upgrading an infinite level. If you want to be able to focus on your character's build, you can make it personable, whatever you like, and then stop. Damage, damage, energy. It's really like each class has like an endless amount of like flavors. Hmm. <clears throat> Alrighty, sorry about that. Alright, welcome back. That is a weird question to ask. Um, oh yeah, I asked because like that was the time Nintendo was really thriving. Early '90s, everyone talked about having Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 and more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think the most like, Super Nintendo games probably they range as uh, like some, you know uh, Kirby, Mario RPG. Like me, it's like it's it sucks because it's like most of the, like the basic games, probably the ones that people already have like list of already. Yeah. I can hardly believe that you yeah, defeated I don't even know what, Blood what else came out. For me, it was Pokemon was all day long. <coughs> oh yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. Forever. I think Just, I, I remember that I was I got really into Pokemon and, the and then the Rose, I kind of more or less stopped. Of my best um, at your but by the, I would say the most recent stuff for I would say for the 3DS, I think at least I started to get back in. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, that's right, Pokemon, Pokemon's awesome. Um, so hey, okay. I'm still like every once in a while I want to play more, but. I haven't had a chance to. There's too many games. It's a problem. Huh, I can summon a little. Oh, okay. Let's go. Now that I got this, I'm going to be close to How should we go for Decker King? something that was like the third or fourth mission. Ah, uh, here it is. It is clear that you are facing an easy... Did you ever play the first Diablo? Because I never did. I never skipped you. No, I didn't bother. There is only one I think I missed out. I missed stage. out. That was another like, game that uh, passed by me. I think it wasn't until like Diablo 2 when I was actually kind of like, oh, let me play games on my computer. <laughs> I never thought about that. I played many games on my computer at the time, so... I think the... most of my... life, I think I played through my consoles, and I think... I would say probably once I started getting... and once I had like a proper... gaming... computer is when I'm like, you know what, let me play more stuff on here, and... That's when I was like, oh, okay. I didn't realize I can technically play all these games that I already was playing, like... In probably uh, equal to not if be better ways. Oh yeah, like that was when it started changing for you, know, PC gaming. More or less, I think. Because uh, I, I say that, but it was mainly in college, because that's like where most of my friends who who are big big uh, PC gamers started really convincing me, like, oh yeah, I should really eventually 
set up a rig and do all this stuff. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, and look, then that, that's kind of like when you're a podcaster. Uh, yeah, more or less. Like, so, so somewhat, I would say somewhat conveniently at the, around the same time. And I think I, I think what I find is hilarious is that around college era is when when I started doing the show, and then <laughs> mainly working on my laptop, uh, which was fine. I was able to get the job done, but it wasn't until later when I was like, oh, I need a... I think it was... I needed to move? I had to move um, out, and this is probably... I would say, yeah, I think it would have been at least around when... Uh, before I started living with the, the your place for a while, where I was like, oh, how am I going to end up my show? Uh, and then I was like, hey, wait, I have a tower. Why am I not using this? Like, it's actually a pretty decent rig. Uh, let, me, let me just do all of my editing on this. And then everything, like, the process became, like, three times as fast. I'm like, wow, I'm an idiot. I don't know why I've been doing it on my laptop the whole time, making it... I think it's... I think when I think about it now, it's just like, oh, I mean, I, I, I could have saved myself like three, five hours per episode. <laughs> that way, <laughs> that way, I because uh, most of the time it's just like, okay, waiting, waiting to render the episode, not render, but like uh, uh, compile the episode together, oh. mix, mix the episode. That's the one, that's the only I should be looking for. Um, so mixing that, so fun. Uh, uh, editing. I, just, I, I still gotta do actually, funny enough. I have to actually I have an episode I have to edit. It's uh, recorded with someone who, really nice person that uh, we, we have for my Detective Conan show. So, very good. It's very few people about Detective Conan are case closed. Um, um, People probably might know it more as. Um, so it was like, oh, cool, we've got someone else to talk about it. So it's. We get a good couple hour discussion, so I'm like halfway through that episode. And I'm just kind of like, you know, doing li little bits little bits of editing, but it still requires me to listen through it. The well, process. You got their clay golem out. Nice. No, I absolutely love your podcast, especially like everything that you guys talk about. Specifically when you're bringing in like new shows. Or, you know, it, it's fun. Guys, I recommend checking out the Ask Backwards podcast. By, uh, Ask Backwards Anime Podcast. Anime Podcast. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Apologize for that. Got that anime part. Yep. I think everyone does. Uh, that, that's that's a funny thing with my show because I think the, the naming convention was the most... A stupid thing, I think, probably for people, uh, not people, but for me, when I, when we came up with it, and then anytime we are referenced by other people, people always say "ass backwards podcast," and they never, they always forget the anime podcast part of it, um, and it's funny because like that's we're an anime podcast, and I think that that sort of became like an almost a weird joke uh, in the actual show. We're like, hey, just so you know, we're an anime podcast. Um, yeah, you know, I'm used to it. I'm not. I don't, I'm very quick to correct, and uh, I appreciate the correction. It's not how it's completely not wrong. Yeah, it's, I mean that's the the S. Uh, I think the name because it's as if you go if you go to our pod, like the uh, the podcast website is S S A A podcast. So it's like S S A. If you put that, that's ass backwards, and then the the last A anime podcast. So it's it, 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 it's a thinker uh, to uh, why why it's named the way it is and why we use the the lettering for that. And I think that I think until up until I think it was like the fifth or sixth episode, I think, is when we kind of stuck I with the ass backwards anime podcast because it, otherwise it was just called the SSA podcast. Uh, because we we're like, okay, this is like it's the it was like the initials of our old uh, anime club. So, uh, oh, I 
so that yeah, secret yeah, secret origins. Uh, so it was the 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 initials were always the the initials to our anime club at, at our college, and we ended up going with that. And uh, I have a phone call that I have to take. Go ahead, take the phone call. It's okay. Yeah, I'm here for a little bit longer. All right. Summoning a golem here is ridiculous. And the skeletons, I got my golems. Guys. This is what it's like to be a necromancer. Um. Now, you should find the tree to get the deck of chains. See the actual XP bar here. And you can see how far coming. Go to the time when you're playing as the Necromancer, you just get them to be like pretty or Be my minion, do my bidding. Passage with the golem. So, what was the last time you played a game similar to this, guys? And have you ever tried a story like this? I'm most definitely when you've got a necromancer. One minion. Minions assemble. Still do four stealth and total on two. Very class necromancy. Warrior barbarian is Wolverine barbarian.
Oh, that HP really does have a big difference. Money maker. Game changer. Classic childhood like, moments of video game at its finest. Like they have a never-ending defense. They just they take all the damage and they do all the damage. I like how I named the buff cap though. What's everyone doing in the chat today? Did you guys eat dinner? What'd you eat? I want to hear all the good stuff from you guys. Talk about minions and their ability to stay. These guys don't want to go nowhere. They're like banana. I can't carry anymore. I can't carry anymore. Oh my god, they're just going. These guys don't want to drop for nothing. I feel the thunder. You guys are long hitting, doing long after.
That was a battle with these guys. Jump off, one of you guys jump off. Damn it, one of you jump off. Hang up and whoop them. Come on, come on, we need to find help here. We're on our way to level up and find Becca Canyon. Yeah, my mom called. That's all right. How is she? Is she good? I am yeah, she's good. Uh, you know, it's uh, health-wise, she's fine. I think she had a little, a little bit of sick. Not the bad stuff, but something else. But <laughs> she's doing okay now. Good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Finally made my way out of that cave. I forgot where that cave ended. Oh, which one was this? One? This is uh, going in the dark woods to find Becca Cave. Oh right. So it's like that cave is the most annoying thing that I could have imagined. And right. no one here has a single health item. Oh, wait, I do. Yeah. And then we just fight the good fight. Maybe, like, I don't know if you can regroup back to the town. Not a little bit, man. I'm still trying to level up everybody, so. Yeah. So far, I haven't had a real death yet. At least, not as much as i but by this point, if I was a barbarian, like I'd be dying because barbarian, I normally play whirlwind, so I'm very, very squishy at getting the good mid to late game. I'm just spamming the crap out of whirlwind. You know? Did you ever play that class or not? Like a little bit. Not really much. But again, I think I ended up sticking to a necromancer um, after I kind of started to understand what I learned. Oh, they call it like you're over 30. You're over 30. 
I wonder how it's going to be with like, uh, Diablo 4. I mean, it's got to have something to do with Diablo 2 considering that Lily Fish is going to go with that. Yeah, I'm curious about that one too. I mean, oh, hopefully it, uh, I don't know, I, I wonder how, how they're going to go, if they're going to keep what they are doing with the game, kind of like a, if it's still close to what 3 is like, or if they're going to revert back. We'll see. You know, a lot of my friends have asked me, why would they leave 3 2? And I was like, well, obviously because Lilith is returned. They probably want to get a backstory on everybody who doesn't play 2. has not played it. I have an idea of who Lilith is, you know? Also, money. Oh, yeah, yes, lots of money. Lots of money is what they're at. The game is about. But it's clearly, you, you, you picked it up, so obviously it, it proves the point. It does, it really does. Right in the field. Where's that shaman? I know there's a shaman. There he is. He's over there. Yep. Sucks because you're, you're, you're killing him, like, almost as fast as he's resurrecting him, so it's, like, tough to... Yeah, that's, a, that's the biggest issue. Shamans can just spam and grab him. They just grab him nuts. Oh, that skeleton came out nowhere! He just uh, ran real quick like he was on freaking energy drinks at Red Bull. I, I think it's so gorgeous how they brought back the coloring in this one. Like, it just looks sharper, brighter. It still feels like the same Diablo 2 in this view. Boy, man, I remember... So it's much more like... Brown. Yeah, more murky looking. Yeah, I think it wasn't like the second area is like the desert, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's why. I like, I remember it being more brown, but I think that was probably the, by the time you get to the other place. Well, people so forget the axe in this game. Now the tree should be over on this side if I remember. If I'm like, finding Decker Kane should be like a little tree here or something like that's important. Was a, I think it was a tree or it was the resurrection tomb. <laughs> Is right here, go through the underground patch to the dark woods, search for the tree of Olympus, and go to the tree. Do you remember what it was like when uh, Doom 2016 came out? Do you remember how like everybody was driving over Doom? No, oh, the yes, yes, that was that. I think that was more of a a shock at what the what that game was to be like. Oh, there, there's something. That's this thing is something special. And I think once I picked it up, I was like, "Oh, I get it. Okay, I'm in." Oh yeah. Doom 2016 revived a lot of old school games for me as soon as I tried it out, because all I could think of was just how amazing the graphical power was of. Uh, I think it was the Unreal Engine we were using. Yeah, no, that, that, that man. I think they're, they're, those are probably like one of the. That's like one of those games where I wish I could forget the game so I can play it again. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Uh, it mainly because I was like, oh man, I would love to. I mean, I, I can play it again. Yeah. Like, I, you know, the game has Yeah, but that first time experience is never, never yeah. taken away. Yeah, I mean, it, there's a lot of games I would love to play again. I think I'm I'm comfortable with like my experiences with them, so it'd be uh it'd be neat if they uh, if because I I mean I I didn't mind the um, eternal I think it was fine I think it was it was good but not great I think that's what I felt by the end I was like yeah this is this was uh, this was doom this is a this is a war of the doom. Um, and he, I mean, all the extra things that came with it was like was neat, but wasn't like the thing that I felt from the first time. So having to chase that dragon again is gonna be uh, tough. <laughs> so hope, 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 hopefully, hopefully, once uh, if the newer games, if there is any, there, I mean, there hasn't been anything else. So I know there's a I think that DLC is out already, or already came out. I don't know. 
but uh, uh, I know that at least the if they were to make a third, which they could, um, I would love to for them to figure out uh, how that uh, uh, why that first game worked out so much better than the second. It was something special about it when first came out. I'm trying to just find the damn portal so I can warp back, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. And I, I don't even remember where that is, but at least we're here now. We're confused. The desert, everybody remembers the desert, the dunes. Wait, look. You know what I really remember was when you get towards the end of the game and you're going through an inferno and you're like, oh, what have you oh, there's the tree! Alright, oh well, shoot. There's a bunch of guys too. We revived all my skeletons. I was like, who's dying? My golem is just tanking. Where are my golems? God, I forgot how these guys are laughing forever. I can't carry anymore. There's the tree. This tree shines with inner spirits. Take a scroll to Akara. Alright, that's not so bad. Look at that detail though. Do you see that? This game just did it for me growing up, and even right now being an adult is like it's perfect. Greetings. How will you find Cain without going to Tristram? Finding the Tree of Illithus is the first step on the journey. So, take a scroll of the car. Not in town. Do that here. To be honest, I have done my best to stay clear of Geed. He wears dishonesty about himself like a cloak. I didn't pick up the scroll, I thought I picked it up. I'm like, that is ridiculous. I am overburdened. Oh, that's why. Go figure. That was one thing I hated was the management of gear towards the end of this. Oh, yeah. Because, cool. like, I've you'd have to literally know what you wanted scroll. to carry. And I think it's also, like, the man, the, 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 um, the inventory space. I remember that also being a problem. That's true. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. I'm going to get my quest log. Go to the comms, the camps, and so I feel like it's just something to go find this scroll. Must get to. I'm going to bed. Got another day tomorrow. Good night, Good night, Lady J. And Lady J. Good night. I'm 
just trying to get this Deckard Kane thing done. It's like, ah. I remember, like, so distinctively Deckard Kane being caught in a trap. Being such a, an odd character. Open up a red portal, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Uh, okay. There it is. The All that's left of proud Tristram are ghosts and ashes. I remember him being towards like the last of the Yeah, that I remember just thinking. My skeletons are doing damage. Like after I leveled up and I did all that, they were just like this. Put it to overdrive. There he is. There's Deckard. I thank you, friend, for coming to my aid. There's a cane and a car on the road. Straight by with getting checkered king. That was one of the greatest parts about this was just like the grind. I remember getting all my characters up and just learning how the gameplay was. your life to rescue Cain. For that we thank you. We must seek his counsel immediately. Do you remember what Deckard Kane does, though? Or you forgot? Ah, forgot. 
He identifies all your, your items for you for free, so you don't have to use your tools anymore. Oh, right. That's right. I yes. will identify items Which for you at made no this charge. so much better to just bring items to him, because then he would identify them. I could do nothing. I think, uh, like, yeah, if you're in a pinch and you need it to... Yeah, it's no big deal, but... Yeah, normally I just save all that stuff to just <laughs> do it from him. It's not even worth I can't keeping the scrolls here. anymore. You may recover some mysterious things from the demons you kill. Some of great use to you. God, some of great remake. peril. Bring them to me, and I'll reveal their secrets. Good, he reveals their secrets. As a token of my gratitude, I will identify items for you at no charge. Regrettably, I could do nothing to prevent the disaster which devastated Tristram. Token of my gratitude. Oh. Ah, Deckard. Deckard will just sit you a new character. I can't believe I have so much items on me. Private stash. Chip topaz. It looks like I can just sell this. When I fled the monastery, I left behind the Herodric Malice, my enchanted smithing hammer. If you can retrieve it for me, I'll use its magic to strengthen your equipment. Oh, look at that. There comes the part where it's like, hmm. Just, uh, This was... Oh! <laughs> I skipped the quest. I gotta go looking for that. Look for Hundred Miles in the Monastery Barracks to wear the Swift of Yeah. Good to see you. Don't you hate like when you do that? You're like, wait a minute. I skipped something. Yep. Now I gotta search around the camp because I remember it's... Um... Mm -hmm. I forget who gives who gives you that quest here at the camp. I'm trying to remember who it was. It's not hard. Shucks. Well, now I'm gonna save and use it. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the stream. I want to give a shout out to uh, Professor Doc for being here for some commentary, and uh, also shout out to his Ask Backwards Anime podcast. Guys, gotta check it out. As well as thank you to everybody for you, the follows, the subs, and the bits and the cheers you guys do. Because remember, you make this channel what it is today. I'm just lucky to share the experience with you guys. So until next time, you guys take care.